Nice shirt. That's awesome. Thank you. Thundercats, ho. Yes, well, yeah. you know, the, the new show starting up. That's right here. You know, it's, I, I guess I've been under a rock, or maybe I'm just old school or something. But, um, yes, yeah, someone was like, I think Molly Quinn. Or she was like, oh, do you know any of the, did you audition for the new Thundercats? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Thundercats is from 1985. What are you talking about? Um, uh, so I've heard about the new Thundercats. But uh, it's like all I, the, the shows I was really into were, were uh, Voltron. Thundercats and the Transformers. So um, those are my my shows that I. So I was looking around for a Voltron shirt yesterday. And I couldn't find one. Maybe next year. I'll, There's the new Voltron show too. <laughs> it's, is it really? Oh yeah, it's all coming back. Oh, yeah. It's all circular and like Transformers is like this big like blockbuster. It's amazing, isn't it? I was like, I have the toys at home. Yeah. So Castle. <laughs> yes. So I mean, what do you? I mean, I know you guys have shot. You're starting to shoot the first episode of this new season. So I mean, what does? Uh, how does your character kind of react to the to kind of the shocking events of uh, the season three finale? Um, yeah, it was a very big episode that we ended on last season. So I, I was sort of questioning. I'm like, I have no idea where we're going from here. Like, what is? What is it that we're possibly going to be able to do? Because we killed off a major character, and now one of our major characters uh, is in jeopardy of of being dead. So her life is in jeopardy. And like, how does this? How do? How do we? How do we go from here? <laughs> and um, so uh, my, I, I was sort of feeling that. Uh, that Beckett, is, we're going to deal with that the first episode um, and, and what happens with that. And I can't say whether she lives or dies. You're going to have to sort of guess on your own. Um, and uh, and we'll see how that happens with the precinct. And then and then it, it sort of gets back to our mystery. You know, I mean, we, we solve a crime every week. That's what we've always done. I don't think that there's going to be an episode where we don't do that. So we can never really depart from that too much. But the fact is that we, we put all these other elements into our show is sort of like, is sort of what's looking forward to. I mean, that's the fun part is that, you know, the, the mystery and the, and the murder and is, is fantastic, but a lot of people stay around for our characters' interactions or, or the dialogue or, the, or the, the jokes that we have with each other. I, I, saw, I saw there's actually a, a graphic novel that they're that they're releasing that's going to be concurrent with this new season. Like, is there have you guys, have you guys looked at that yet? Have you have had a look at that? I, I've seen some of the cover art uh, last season. I saw some cover art. I think we're going down to the Marvel booth after this, so I, I think I hope to get a good look at it. Well, you know, because Disney bought Marvel, and so they're they're into their their idea of synergy, and so however we can sort of cross promote products is fantastic. So so we have a very talented graphic artist uh, who's uh, who's or graphic no novelist who's well known. Um, don't ask me his name because I met him. Like Last year, and I'm really bad with names. Brian life. Michael Bendis. Okay. Brian Michael Bendis is very talented, and uh, I've seen his work. Um, and uh, he came to the set and he met us, and he's very excited about the whole Derek Storm thing. So, so it's cool. And there's, it's like Derek Storm is sort of a a, a wide open. Um, Nathan's telling me I'm talking to him. Um, it is, it I'll talk really loud. Really quiet. I'll talk really, really quietly. Okay, it's a little bit better level. Um, so uh, the the Derek Storm novels are uh, sort of a wide open slate, and he can really do probably whatever he wants with it because all we have are titles. It's sort of an idea that Derek Storm is is another detective, uh, or he's a he's a some sort of crime fighter or crime solver or something. So like from there, he can probably do whatever he wants. So you know the possibilities are endless. It'll be look, it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with. So are there are there any guessers that you've always wanted to have on Castle? Oh gosh, you know they're all like my friends, like people I've done plays with. Um, like like John was mentioning, like he wanted Ken Howard on the show. He's he he's worked with him on the on the Screen Actors Guild board and everything. So he, it's like people like that. I, I have good friends of mine, like George Stanford Brown, who was on Roots. He's a good friend of mine. So it's sort of one of those things that you always want to like have your friends coming. I, you know who I want on Alan Tudyk. You know who I want on our show, Alan Tudyk. And I said last night, I said I said when when can Alan Tudyk be on our show so Nathan can shut up about it and all those folks. Back Back home can be sort of like pleased that finally we have someone else from Firefly on our show and they can just stop asking that question. So it's people like that. Actually, and he's a great guy. Nathan's brought him around and he is a really cool guy and he's really funny. It'd be cool to get Peter Dinklage on the show. I hung out with him last night. So this is taking all my powers of concentration because he's whispering dirty things in my ear. Filthy things, things that are not fit for like consumption of minors. Uh, just like chatting and like I feel like a warm breath. I know. So John basically, ha so John basically like has not finished watching Game of Thrones. So we can't talk about Game of Thrones on set yet. Oh, no, it's driving us crazy. I know because we're like talking about the last one because there's there's all sorts of questions that are raised on the show. And Nathan's reading the novel, and um, and we can't just send John away. Like, go away so we can talk about. Go it. Go away. Just go in your trailer and watch it. And like John, why don't you watch it? Mm, I was catching up on the killing. I had to watch the end of the killing. And exactly like, just, how we talk. Just like just like, exactly how just like watch Game of Thrones so we can finally talk about it and not just like when he comes around. Don't talk about it. 
Because we don't want to spoil it for him either. Because there's crazy stuff going on. Because the code no. will get cracked. Absolutely. I'm terrible at talking code. It's, he's really screwing up our work environment. Thanks so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you. Okay. Now you can go away.